For assembling, you need the Nokia Standard Toolkit version 2. Remove the shown protective film from the side key flex. Do not remove rest of the protective films yet. Place the side key flex to the display frame. Align the two shown display frame pins with the side key flex. Remove the remaining protective films. Lower down the bottom end of the side key flex and align it with the shown pin. Press the side key flex for 5 seconds to activate the adhesive. Remove the shown protective film from the earpiece gasket. Place the earpiece gasket to the display frame. Press the earpiece gasket to activate the adhesive. Remove the remaining protective film. Remove the earpiece from its package. Place the earpiece to the display frame. Note the alignment of the earpiece. Press the earpiece gently to activate the adhesive. Do not touch the center part of the earpiece. Bend the shown protective film of the front camera gasket upwards. Remove the shown protective film. Place the front camera gasket to the display frame and press it to activate the adhesive. Remove the protective film. Place the camera boot to the engine board. Be careful not to damage any components on the engine board. Remove the IC gasket protective film. Place the IC gasket to the engine board as shown. Remove the camera connector gasket protective film. Place the camera connector gasket and align it with the shown edge. Bend the camera flex. Be careful not to damage the camera flex. Connect the camera connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Turn over the camera and push it to its place. Connect the front camera connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Place the USB flex to the display frame. Make sure the two shown guiding pins are aligned correctly. Press the USB flex gently with the SS93 to activate the adhesive. Place the bigger connector of the RF coax cable on top of the shown connector and attach it by pressing gently with the SS93. Be very careful not to damage the connector. Place the coax cable holder to its place.
push the coax cable to the coax cable holder as shown. Make sure that the coax cable is correctly placed to the coax cable holder. Remove the proxy sensor protective film. Hold the engine board as shown and connect the display connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Connect also the USB connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Turn the engine board over and press it slightly. Use the SS93 to push the proxy sensor to its place. Connect the side key flex connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Fasten the four Torx plus size four screws in the order shown to the torque of 13 Newton centimeters. Connect the RF coax cable connector as shown. Be very careful not to damage the connector. Place the IHF speaker gasket. Press it gently to activate the adhesive. Place the IHF speaker. Note the alignment of the IHF speaker. Press the IHF speaker to its place. Place the main antenna and press it gently. Fasten the three Torx plus size four screws in the order shown to the torque of 10 Newton centimeters. Place the battery top end first. Press the bottom end to lock the battery into its place. Remove the shown protective film of the heat spreader. Place the heat spreader on top of the battery. Align the heat spreader with the bottom end of the battery as shown. Then align the top end of the heat spreader with the shown corner of the engine board shielding lid. While placing the heat spreader, be careful not to damage the battery connector. Press the heat spreader to activate the adhesive and remove the protective film. Connect the battery connector. Be careful not to damage the connector or any nearby components. Place the AV module on the unibody assembly. Press the AV module to lock it into its place. Use the SS93 to attach the AV module flex. Check that the AV module flex is aligned with the two pins. Place the flash lead and press it gently to activate the adhesive. Remove the three protective films of the WLC Flex. Place the top end of the WLC flex first and align the two shown holes of the flex with the unibody assembly. Be careful not to damage the flex while attaching it. Press the top end of the flex gently to activate the adhesive. Place the bottom end of the WLC flex to its cavity and press it gently to activate the adhesive. At last, 
press the middle part of the WLC flex to activate the adhesive. Remove the battery gasket protective film. Place the battery gasket on top of the WLC flex. Align the battery gasket to the center of the unibody assembly as shown. Place the flash caddis film. Make sure the flash caddis film is placed so that it covers the side of the flash lead. Check also that the top of the flash caddis film is aligned with the top of the flash lead. Remove the flash lead and the camera protective films. Place the bottom end of the display module to the unibody assembly first. Then lower down the top end. When lowering down the top end of the display module, note that the SIM door button might be in the up position as shown. Use the SS93 to push in the SIM door button and insert the top end of the display module into the unibody assembly. Press the display module from all sides to properly attach it to the unibody assembly. Push in the SD door. Fasten the Torx Plus size 2 screw to the torque of 7 Newton centimeters. Push in the SIM door. Remove the display protective film. Remove the unibody assembly protective film. Now the Nokia Lumia 720 assembly procedure is complete.